Well, as so many of us know, COVID-19 has been a time of difficulty, having to distance ourselves from our friends and even our families. So one children's book author has written a story that may be exactly what we all need. I initially wrote this book pre-coronavirus. I wrote it, I was inspired by my niece in Chicago, um, who her best friend moved to Amsterdam. And they were really trying to figure out the, the best ways to sort of stay connected. And we had a conversation about how when I was her age, I used to write letters to my friends, even friends who were a couple of blocks away. We used to yeah. just exchange letters back and forth. And so that's what actually inspired the story of Let's Meet on the Moon. But as it went through the production process and the illustration process, the pandemic hit. And it really started taking on this larger meaning for me of how do we stay close and how do we stay connected when we can't be together? And so that could be when you can't be with people who are far away from you, or even yeah. when you can't be near the friends who are your, you know, your closest friends that are maybe in your school, in your neighborhood. And that's really what this story is about how do you maintain those connections? I love that. Okay. And you're going to give us a sneak peek. You have the book. In your hands. Yes. So, so show me some illustrations. Yeah. Oh, this cute. is Let's Meet on the Moon. Thank you. I, so I teamed up with a local illustrator. Her name's Emily Sywick. She's a, another local mom here. And so, you know, the book starts off with the friends kind of saying goodbye as, as a girl moves away. And then they start writing letters to each other and they think of places where they could meet. So it starts with like, let's meet at a carnival. Let's meet, let's see, what do I flip to? You know, let's meet on a riverbank and talks about the activities they could do. You know, let's meet in a secret tree house. And it kind of takes them all the way up as it gets a little bit more fanciful to all the way to let's meet on the moon. And it just talks about how, you know, even though we can't be close to each other, um, we're still closing each other's hearts. And so it really just takes you through this process um, of, of how do you, how do you use your imagination to be with the people you love? Mm -hmm. And I think it's especially important during this time. I know a lot of people have gone through, you know, a lot of trials and tribulations this year with not being able to see their loved ones. When all of this hit, I, I know you said it allowed you to have a deeper meaning, I guess, with the book. Are you seeing that even more now, given kind of the state that everything is in? Yeah, I really have, you know, I've seen people, the, you know, what I decided to do with this kind of first um, first run of the book is that any purchases through October also come with this set of postcards so that you can oh. actually send letters oh, to your great. friends or drop them in each other's mailboxes. You know, my kids like putting notes in our in our neighbor's mailboxes just to say hi and I so miss cute. you and I'm thinking of you. And so I really have seen that. So I've seen people saying, you know, this has been so nice. We've been able to send a copy to a friend and have a copy for ourselves. Um, I have adults who said, I've, I've sent this to my college best friends, you know, who I can't see right now, but I just yeah. want them to know that I'm thinking about that. You also said that you're passionate about getting in diverse hands into the hands of kids, right? Sort of opening their minds a little bit. Was that another part of what you wanted to do with this? Yeah, you know, so for this is my third book. And so for all of my books, I really wanted to showcase um, some element of diversity. So I'm a diverse books advocate. I'm a book reviewer for Multicultural Children's Book Day. Um, and so I try to do whatever I can to promote diverse authors and diverse storylines. And I've done parent workshops on how to create an intentional bookshelf and really think yeah. and be mindful of what we are reading to our kids, what we are buying as gifts for others, what we are you know, buying at bookstores and what we are taking out Absolutely. from the library. And so the first book that I wrote is called um, The Great Laka Cook-Off. This is my first book. And this was a story about um, a Jewish family because in my family, we are a interfaith household. So um, we are a Jewish and Catholic household. And when my son was first born, we, he has a December birthday. So he got a lot of lovely Christmas books from friends mm -hmm. and family. And so I went out and tried to find a Hanukkah book for him. And what I really found was these two ends of the spectrum. There was Clifford and Elmo celebrate Hanukkah. And then there was the history of the Maccabees sort of on the other end. And there weren't a lot of stories about just a family experience. And with my second book, Places We Have Never Been, which actually also has taken on a new meaning during coronavirus. Um, all three of these are by the same wonderful, wonderful illustrator. But really what this talks about is how do we experience travel using our imagination and how do we think about other cultures and other 
um, other traditions yeah. when we're exploring places in our mind. So it's a series of questions that takes you on an adventure. And it says, you know, when you arrive in the place that you've never been, um, what do you hear? What do you see? What do you smell? How do they say hello? How do they say friend? And so just getting people to really think about other places as exciting and mm -hmm. other people as, as interesting and unique and not just um, as other. Yeah, certainly a great message in that book for sure. And Lauren would like to pass along a discount to you. You can receive 15% off your order with the code October through the end of this month at lauren-renali.com. Of course, we'll put that on IndyStyle.tv. All right, Mackenzie, we'll send it on over to you.